and welcome to another video. So today I will be planning out the week of July 27th through August 2nd. In my A5 daily plum paper planner, today I'm planning on some of these extra dot grid note sheets that I had added in the tabbed sections of my planner. And I will be using leftovers from my August monthly kit. So plum paper does have a subscription kit and they're designed mostly to fit in the monthly section of the planner but it's a pretty good deal and they honestly give you way way more stickers than you really need just in that monthly section and so i wanted to show another way to use these stickers i do have videos up on my channel for every month since april not including july where i do set up my monthly view with this sticker set and here i'm setting up a weekly view Additionally, when I get through this planner and you see my flip through of the whole thing, I have different ways that I've incorporated them into my daily pages as well. So I really like this sticker subscription because I like finding lots of different ways to use the stickers. You get so many of them and it would be a shame if they just went to waste because I only put them in the monthly view and didn't try to incorporate them anywhere else. Okay, and now that we are done with the intro portion of this video, I have entered into a time lapse. This is three times speed, so this that's how different the speed on the screen is from how long it actually took me to do this. This spread took me in real time maybe about an hour. Most of my spreads do just because when I have the time to make a spread that I really enjoy, I tend to take my time and actually think about it a lot, and make sure I put everything there, look around my desk and see if there's anything else I can possibly add and all kinds of things. So it took me about an hour and this particular video is sped up much more than that. So the first thing I did was lay down these green date covers. These are a printable from Planner Choco and they don't match the greens in this kit exactly. It's a little too dark than that light green and it's a little too light than the darkest green. It's somewhere in the middle but I thought that it would be close enough. And then I am going in and adding these date dots. These are gold date dots from Scribble Prints Co, which is a shop I have not shopped at in a very, very long time. But I do like the date dots. I also haven't bothered to use foil the date dots in a while because I am in the middle of organizing my foil. Sticker Organization Part 1 got released weeks ago, and Sticker Organization Part 2 has not been recorded at all. It's just a pile of stickers in a box right now, and my foil is, is all in there, and it's all a wreck, so I haven't done any foil, really. But I found them because these actually weren't where they were supposed to be. I found them in the back of a book, and I was like, hey, they're already out. I guess I'll add them to this spread. I really like the way green and gold foil work together, so it worked out perfectly here. And then once I did that, I went and I put a checklist alternating yellow stars and pink and white dots each day because I knew that I wanted to have a checklist there. That's just something that I really like to do. Checklists are, they're everything. I love making lists of things. So I knew that each of these days definitely needed one. And then that top section on the left hand page, I made a this week section. And here I'm trying to decide where to put this full box. So I don't know what the vertical dimension is based off of for plum paper. I think it's... no. Actually, I have no idea. But it's this long vertical box and it was taller than my horizontal markings were. So I laid it down in the middle as centered as I could get it. And then I went in and I used my ruler and an X-Acto knife just to trim it because the design on either end was like a repetitive pattern so it didn't look weird if I trimmed it off. And I wasn't sure how much pressure to put when I did this first cut so it really took a lot of finagling. I was worried about cutting through the paper so I had to go in like two or three times and like pull off little wisps of sticker paper. But then once I had gauged the pressure a bit better, the top cut went a lot more smoothly. And then I used this Don't Forget sticker over on the right hand side as a section to actually mark upcoming things and like things to keep in mind for next week. But I ended up not using it. I completely forgot it was there until this voiceover. My next step is to decide if I wanted to use any washi tape. And I went in 
and I thought that this was actually going to be a spread where my green and gold Simply Gilded washi tape, the one I laid down first, would actually be really great to use in this spread. I don't use that washi tape very often. These aren't colors that I use a ton in a lot of different things, but then I didn't use it. I ended up wanting to put my washi tape at the top of each day next to the date cover, and because the date cover was already green, I didn't want to put my green washi tape right against the green date cover. So I ended up alternating gold hearts and hot pink bows with um, gold foil. And it works! Like, I really like it. But I was disappointed that I was not able to work that green and gold bow washi into this spread. This is another case where the gold and pink bows don't really match the spread. This pink is a little too hot for the pink that actually came in the kit. However, I'm not really obsessed with whether things match like exactly. You know, like there are some people who really the colors and the shades and the tones have to match exactly or it bothers them. For me, it doesn't bother me if the tones don't match exactly. I want them to be in the same color families and I want them co to coordinate with each other, but they don't have to be exactly the same. And so I thought this pink still looked nice in the spread. It still matched the greens and the yellows and the pinks, even if it wasn't the exact shade of pink that the other pink in the actual sticker kit was. And that let me put everything down, and I really think that this was a good base for which to start. I have established the left-hand side as the place where I'm going to put my to-do list and things, and so that leaves the right-hand space open for like events and appointments and things like that. So the first thing I did was use these half circle stickers to mark my YouTube videos for the week. And I really like this because honestly, those half circle stickers are kind of hard to find a place to put them. Like it's just a weird shape and I'm never certain how to use them. But in this week, I liked the way that this worked out. So I marked my plan with me for Monday, my TBR video on Wednesday, and my August monthly on Friday. And I actually got all three of those videos up over the weekend. It was mind-boggling. I thought that, that was going to set me up to have like a super productive week of catching up on subtitles and cleaning the apartment. And then I proceeded to have, like in some respects, the laziest week in the world. I didn't do almost anything productive this week. It was the last week of the Ephathon Readathon, so I did push really hard at the end to finish a few books. I think I finished two or three books this week. And so that was pretty nice, but also I just kind of realized that I have one more week of summer break and then boom, the year is starting. And that kind of blew my mind and put me into like hibernation mode. And I just decided that I was going to take it super easy because these are the last weeks of my vacation. And I've spent a lot of the summer trying to keep myself super productive with varying levels of success, but I have focused a lot on my YouTube channel, I focused a lot on readathons, I focused a lot on moving and unpacking, and in these last couple of weeks I realized that I really wanted to make sure I had a lot of downtime because things were going to ramp up really quickly very soon after, and that's just how things ended up. So on Monday, I also marked that we needed to go back to the BMV so that I could buy my learner's permit for Ohio. My learner's permit I got when I was 16. I am now 23, and I have not actually gone to take a street test for an official driver's license. I haven't actually practiced enough to be comfortable doing that. I am an anxious driver, and I do not trust myself to drive alone yet, so it's, it's a thing. But my Texas license, which I have been keeping with me because I haven't really had a permanent address. I was just in college, and then I had a temporary one-year position last year. However, this position currently is actually quite promising and I will probably be here at least for a couple of years, if not more. And I figured it was time to get like a legit license because I'm pretty sure my Texas license wouldn't even really be legal here. So I went to buy that. We also got new plates for the car and we were going to go grocery shopping, but then we moved that to a different day. Then on Tuesday, I marked it as a laundry day that didn't happen, but I did do laundry on Saturday, and I think that Saturdays are going to work out overall to be my laundry days. 
I think that's the way things are going to fall. So I didn't do it on Tuesday, but it worked out for Saturday. Then over on the weekend, I did put this weekend banner kind of twisted horizontally. I'm not really sure that I like it because it's curved. If it were a straight weekend banner, I think I would like it even in the vertical orientation. But because of this arch, I think it would have looked better twisted, but that's fine. Also on Monday, I marked that I wanted to go to the post office because I needed to mail something. In general, if there's a day where we have to leave the house for any reason, it's a busy day because we do everything we have to do while we're out and then we stay home the whole rest of the time. We might otherwise try to spread things out. It might not be as crucial to get everything done all at once. But with the way the world is right now, we really maximize when we're out of the house. And then when we're in the house, we just stay. So that was Monday. Super busy. It really filled up. Then over on Saturday, I'm marking that there are a couple of bills due. So rent was due on Saturday and my Fairy Loot subscription renews. And I also marked that Saturday we would meal plan. We actually didn't need to. We bought a lot of things the last time we went grocery shopping in bulk. And so even though technically I get paid on the 5th of August, and that's usually when we go grocery shopping, I actually don't think we'll need to really go that day exactly or buy a lot because I think we have more than enough food for a few more days after that. And then I'm marking on... Friday, I'm deciding if I want to use this Fry Yay sticker and like putting it over the date cover, but I hated it. So I picked it back up, put it to the side. The Plum Paper sticker kits are repositionable, so that's really nice. I don't buy repositionable stickers. I don't buy from sticker shops very often, and I don't buy repositionable sticker paper to make my own because it's more expensive. So having the Plum Paper subscription be repositionable is not something i'm used to and every now and again i realize how nice it actually is to have that kind of sticker paper and then on saturday i cut off the text on the movie night sticker that came with the kit to keep the little filming clipboard thingy so that i could mark that that's when i wanted to film my plan with me because saturday is usually when i do it it's a good day for me then on thursday i am marking that i have an appointment at 9 30 just a general doctor's appointment to establish care in this new city that we're in and ask a few questions. And then on Friday, I'm marking that I have another appointment, which was at 11, and that was to visit my classroom. So there was a schedule out that the maintenance staff sent where people were able to come at very particular times to see what their classrooms were going to look like and how the staff has like rearranged furniture and stuff to maintain social distancing and it's pretty nice it's really weird they have this like wooden podium that they have built in every classroom where they plan to put like a camera so that students who are choosing to go remote can like film classes as you're teaching them from that little podium i don't know the full details of how it's going to work but it was interesting and so I was really excited to get to see that. On Tuesday, I'm marking that since I didn't have a lot scheduled for this day, there were three videos I wanted to film. I did not. I think I spent Tuesday reading The Elite, the second book in the selection series. I read that book over two days. I basically just sat and read it. So I didn't do that. A lot of these plans got moved around unless they were timed, in which case I had no choice but to go to those appointments. And then I filled in the bottom of that space with some washi tape because I wanted to bring in more of the leaves and a bit more of the green because right now the dark green was only in the date covers. Additionally, I do want to note that I used green pen for this spread. I used a black permanent marker for the stickers because even though they're matte and you can use a regular pen on them, you do have to let them dry a bit and that kind of gets on my nerves. So. I do use a permanent pen to write directly on the plump paper stickers, but anytime I was writing on the page, I used the green parkour pen. I like used these pens the week before, yeah, in my last video, because they were sent to me to do a review on them, and I've just kind of been using them. They're in a cup on my desk, 
So I decided to mix things up this week and use green. And I like it. I was pleasantly surprised. And then I had this extra strip of yellow leopard print washi tape that I used the first part of it in my monthly spread. And then I had this extra strip. So I put it down on Sunday and then covered the jagged end that I tore when making my monthly spread with this watermelon sticker. And it was just a little decorative element because Sunday I didn't feel like I was going to plan to do a lot. And I was right, I didn't. Then also on Saturday, I wanted to mark that that is when the Athathon live show was going to be taking place. And that's everything for this week. So these are the stickers that I still have left. Some of which I've incorporated into daily spreads, others of which I will just save. And this is the end of this video, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!